no other year has revealed that to us um, in the way that this year has revealed to us the deep-rooted and long-standing inequality caused by systemic racism and really the failure to recognize the fundamental humanity of Black people and people of color was laid bare for us. We saw that Black people have had to endure violence and death at the hands of the state. Um, at the same time that these communities were disproportionately impacted um, by COVID-19, bearing the health education, economic, financial, and social consequences. I think over the past four years, there were lots of dark moments for someone who cares about social justice, who cares about civil rights, who cares about racial justice. There were many dark moments and, and, and times of despair. And a bright light always was turning to the work that the ACLU was doing to push back and to defend folks. So I've always known, and I've known, um, since I worked with the ACLU in the 1990s, that I wanted to serve the organization. Within a course of a year, I think we're hoping to do work to reverse some of the most harmful and toxic, toxic policies of the previous administration. I'm hoping that we finally come together to be able to address um, critical issues that we see at the intersection of race, class, and, and place. Segregation is an incredible problem for our country. We're deeply and profoundly segregated. And we all know that you can't separate the places that people have access to from the opportunities that people have access to. I grew up in one of the richest states in the country uh, with parents who often struggled financially to provide, uh, parents who faced discrimination because of the color of their skin, because of their immigrant status, because their, of their accents. Um, and, and so it certainly has shaped who I am as a person and as, and as a lawyer. I became a civil rights lawyer because I wanted to fight for the right and ability of families like mine to live lives with dignity and respect. I wanted to fight for people like me to be able to make choices and live life without the hurdles and burdens of discrimination. Uh, and that's what I did when I started off at the ACLU and what I'm trying to do now.